I guess the I'm still kind of confused on how to guess to solve second order differential equations. I get mm -hmm. the general framework of it, but I feel like yeah. um, I would follow. At this point, this is my advice to, I guess, everyone. Um, so for this actually applies only to second order differential equations, not first order. For second order differential equations, this is my, get, my advice. Guess this as your form of solution function as a um, function of x or I guess usually it's time is some amplitude times complex exponential e to the i uh, if it's t then it should be omega omega t this is our convenient guess this is a physicist convenient guess for everything and um, to make it a little bit clear this a here should actually be complex so if you're dealing with something that, if you want all your, um, if you want all your, uh, if you want all your symbols to represent a real quantity, then this is really what this guess means. And actually, one more thing here is potentially complex. So this omega is also potentially complex. <laughs> so um, if you want all your symbols to be real, then the standard guess that physicists use for almost any differential equation would be this one. So A might be complex. So in terms of a real um, parameter A naught, it'd be A naught times e to the i phi. And this phase factor will cover any um, complex part times. So I'm saying this might be complex. So that means your time dependent portion, it might have two parts. It might have oscillatory complex exponential. And it might have uh, time de decaying with the time, or maybe even increasing with time. It might have a real exponential part. So let me um, express this complex omega this way as omega naught. That's going to be my real part. And I don't have a standard symbol for the other one. Let me call it minus i. Uh, I guess standard symbol might be rho. Rho, maybe. Some symbol. Um, so with this plugged in here, it would be e to the i omega naught t. This is the oscillatory part times. Um, so when you plug this in, you get, oh wait, this should be plus. When you plug this in, you get e to the minus rho t. So, but you know, this now begins to look complicated, right? <laughs> That's why I'm saying this is what you should guess as a first guess to everything. Then, so when you check your guess, that's when you plug this in, take the derivatives. And here's really why we always guess this, always, is guessing this turns your calculus problem into an algebra problem. Because this is an exponential, you are guaranteed to be able to cancel this out afterwards. As long as your um, you know, equ differential equation doesn't have some constant term adding, this e to the i omega t will always cancel out. So you will end up with an algebra expression that depends on this a parameters a and omega. Now, depending on that algebra equation, sometimes you might have to require omega to be complex or a to be complex. That's why I'm mentioning this, mentioning these possibilities from the beginning that when you see that they become complex, well, you know what? That's the equation that actually satisfies. That's the solution that satisfies the, the equation. But you know, I think I've said this several times that um, in, even when you actually know how to do this stuff, the formal straightforward way in many physics classes, upper division, graduate level physics classes, you don't actually solve them the proper way. You guess a convenient form of a function, and it, that form of function turns out to be correct. And <laughs> this is our convenient form of uh, solution. Uh, physicists guess exponential as a solution to everything. And it often works out, like 80, 90% of the time. <laughs> yeah. So I say this is for second order differential equation, because if you try to do this for an LR circuit or RC time dependent circuit, this, that's actually one of the few cases where this doesn't work. 
the cases where you could have solved by using by using the uh, um, by using uh, separation of variables, this actually doesn't work. Uh, but situations that you can solve using separation of variables, they are all first order. That uh, has no explicit time dependence. So for those, use a separation of variables. For everything else, this guess will work at some point.